Oh, before the clouds thicken on up tonight, Mark snapped this picture down in southwestern Columbiana County, down around East Rochester. A beautiful sunset there off one of the hilltops. And, uh, well, temperatures, they've been mild all evening long. How about this? High temperature this afternoon, 73 degrees. That's a beautiful weather for the middle of October. And we're still 65. But that's changing for us as we go through tonight into tomorrow morning. Uh, temperatures uh, um, relatively mild east and west here at home tonight. 62 in Mercer, 65 in Berlin Center, 63 uh, down in Lisbon. Calcutta and East Liverpool, you're in the 50s. That's because you've been dealing with this heavy rainfall here uh, for a little while and even some lightning out there. I do have lightning turned on right now. I'm not seeing a whole lot of that. We'll go ahead and start things off down in southern Columbiana County where it's raining from Selineville on over to Wellsville. Some moderate rainfall. Wellsville and East Liverpool and I pointed out these areas of yellow putting down close to a quarter of an inch of rain per hour. So if you're stuck underneath one of these yellow spots, it's going to get a, a little wetter for you. Of course, uh, close to a quarter to three, um, close to a half inch at some spots of Mercer or Lawrence County on up into Mercer County where rainfall continues to track uh, from Hermitage east on 62 over to Mercer and then northward up toward Fredonia and into northeastern uh, and portions of Mercer County over towards Sandy Lake. We're not done yet though. Still some showers out in the central Ohio. This is the cold front and until this clears this evening, there's a risk for a rumble of thunder out there. Some flickers of lightning. So uh, be, be prepared if you hear a little rumble as you're sleeping tonight. Uh, that's what's going on outside on westward though. Dry air is moving on in. I point this out because this dry air will try to slide in here for first thing in the morning. It means some sunshine to start our day in spots, but it'll quickly get filled back in with clouds. Here's temperatures through the rest of the night, dropping through the 60s on into the 50s, 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. Still the risk of rainfall, small chance of thunder. By 7 and 8 o'clock, the little window of dry air moving in. Temperatures will be in the mid-50s, some sunshine around. You may think it's going to be a pretty nice day. And then it won't. The more clouds build back in on the backside of the storm system. And by the time we go into the afternoon, temperatures will start falling again out of the 50s and a small chance for some showers into tomorrow night with cooler temperatures. These will be lake enhanced, helped by lake effect into uh, portions of northeastern Ohio and northwestern Pennsylvania. And I'm going to leave that threat of showers in uh, right into Wednesday morning, especially in the snow belt and then tapering off in better weather uh, moving in for Thursday. Tonight, 54, breezy, showers, chance of a thunderstorm. Tomorrow, temperatures back in the upper 50s by afternoon. Again, small chance of a shower early before sunrise, then a break, then a chance of showers again later in the day with all those clouds. The next seven days, well, temperatures are the story. 56 on Wednesday, 30% uh, chance of a shower as I just showed you with future tracker, especially Wednesday morning. Thursday looks nice, 62 your temperature, but Thursday night into Friday, another round of light rainfall will try to push on through here. And then highs on Saturday and Sunday, 40s, 43 Saturday, 46 on Sunday. And if we lived anywhere else in the country, we would have nice weather Saturday and Sunday, but we don't. We live underneath Lake Erie, and we're going to have to deal with those lake effect showers. It'll be cold enough in the morning. Some snowflakes can mix in uh, Saturday and Sunday. Hopefully we just enjoyed the last weekend we had, right? Might what be a the last one beautiful for a while. weekend. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't get too many of those. Yeah. Thanks, Paul.